Prosecutors have called them revenge killings for Garcia's termination from the Creighton Pathology Department in 2001. Today, lawyers on both sides gave their opening statements and the first witnesses took the stand. Some of the evidence presented very graphic. Reporter Miranda Christian is live at the Douglas County Courthouse with details. Miranda. Yes, prosecutors and defense gave their opening statements this morning. The state says this case is all about revenge, and the defense says the evidence is circumstantial. And as the opening statements ended, witnesses took the stand, including Dr. William Hunter, Thomas's father, and he told us what he found that day he got home in March of 2008. Now, we must warn you, some of these details are very graphic and may be found disturbing. The first witness called in the Anthony Garcia trial was Dr. William Hunter, Thomas Hunter's father. Hunter was the one who came home in March of 2008 to find his son, Thomas, and housekeeper Shirley Sherman dead. Hunter gave a descriptive account of what he came home to that day. He said he saw Sherman on the ground, blood everywhere, with a knife in her neck. He went looking for his 11-year-old son, who he found in the dining room, face down, blood soaked into the rug, also with a knife in his neck. Hunter said he was terrified. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. The courtroom was shown pictures of Thomas Hunter and Sherman. Some family members were crying and some members of the jury did not look at the pictures very long. The picture of Thomas was left up for a long period of time. It showed him face down wearing basketball shorts and a t-shirt. Hunter said he knew the knives in Thomas and Sherman were from his kitchen. The defense asked Dr. Hunter about Thomas's involvement in video games. They also asked if he knew that Sherman had a protection order against her daughter's ex-boyfriend. Hunter said he was made aware of it, but did not know when she was hired and had worked for them for about two years. Now, there have been several other witnesses called to the stand today, including a neighbor who said he saw a strange man back on that day, March 13, 2008. I'll have more on what he said on the stand today coming up at 6 o'clock. Live at the courthouse, Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.